to describe the area of Baltimore County is, is, is hard to do sometimes. We have a saying that we're a unique area. We think we have a combination of things here, combination of people. We're predominantly African American, but we've always, uh, we're a proud heritage of, of the Mississippi Delta. When you look at all the attributes we have from a university here, uh, the proximity to uh, trade schools, uh, we have a Fortune 500 company. It is culturally a very rich area with respect to art, music, and other forms of expression. Uh, socially and economically, it's a very impoverished area, very difficult part of the country, perhaps one of the most impoverished. It's the most unique place on earth. We haven't gotten too homogenized yet, like a lot of the country. What I love about music is the fact that it is a universal language. Everybody all over the world understands it, and it has the same effect on everybody. It's freeing, it, it has healing qualities, it can be emotional. One of the things that I think music allows us to do is to have this, this um, common connection, um, and specific genres uh, can be utilized to uh, quickly communicate a message. This is something that I like, it's something I enjoy, I connect with, and I'm gonna use this medium and this art form to communicate something that I, I truly feel. Building on Mississippi's strong tradition of unique arts and culture is the Delta Music Institute's Healing with a Groove program. Based out of Delta State University, Healing with a Groove engages young men of color in the community through teaching songwriting, audio engineering, music technology, and giving them a platform to express themselves and the need for racial healing. Being a part of Healing with the Group challenged us because we had to think in a way we never thought before. And it, it gave us a different aspect of our art form, which is songwriting. What I expected from um, Healing with the Groove, the program, was um, just coming in and just talking about music, which is what I love to do anyway. Our Healing with the Groove program works with young men ages 12 to 19. We feel like that particular age of young man, you know, it's a difficult time, that's a growing years in trying to find your voice and say something constructive and to try to give them an outlet to say something constructive as opposed to just going along with whatever the vibe is in the street, but to really challenge them to look at their world around them. The program was originally designed for the guys to come to the college campus and get their whole exposure being on a predominantly white campus, uh, just to see what, what's going on in their community and what they have access to. The mission of the Healing with a Groove program is to promote racial healing through the creation of original songs and recordings by the young men of color that participate in the group. And it really is an avenue to try to give these young men uh, a voice to be heard. The purpose of it is to expose them to the whole process, to expose them to variety, to let them know that you can do more than just write a song. The program starts off with discussions. It's just a round table discussion. We get in a circle and we just talk about life. Uh, we kind of develop a model uh, based off the everyday democracy uh, template. I'm proud about the program by taking on that is giving that voice, opening those children up to things that they may not even know about. And the program gives them tangible things and it's in songwriting and expressing it. Then they get to hear it back. You have to work with other people, collaboration. And then you come back and you have to put a creati creativity to it. So to hear them saying songs such as, we want to be greater, what you've done, they've set goals for themselves. And so I credit the program, again, for opening up, uh, I guess, that vision that they, for them and, and uh, to let them know they're not limited. It's just amazing to me that I can, even now in my youth, make a positive change and so um, that really inspires me. I don't quite know what I want to do because I don't all I know is that I really love music and music is life and so I don't know where to start from there but I just uh, pray to God I have a bright future ahead of me and I'm just satisfied with what I'm doing. Being a part of this program got me thinking about realistically time-wise and just logistically, what is possible and what is not, what is just hopeful wishing and what is, you know, a real distance I can travel. 
if I leave and nobody can do what I can do, my work was in vain. Meaning that if 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 I don't have an apprentice, if, if nobody is following me, or if I'm not molding somebody to to carry the torch, you know, in a sense, then my work is in vain. Just seeing in general black men doing positive things means a lot to me. It's a lot of stereotyping and a lot of media-induced beliefs. Being a part of that program, it just helps to dispel all those lies. It's definitely giving me the knowledge and the understanding and the wisdom to have a successful career.